EA Sports. It's in the game. NCAA Football 2005. Ben Hill Griffin Stadium in Gainesville, Florida is where we're at, ready to bring you one great college football game. And there's going to be some heat to battle in today's game between the Clemson Tigers and the Florida Gators. Brad Nessler with me as always Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit and we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football neither team seems to have an advantage in this game Kirk how about your prediction you're right and that's why I think individual performances will be the difference Florida is in for a dogfight but we're looking at a linebacker who thrives on that I don't think I've seen a more physical linebacker than this guy I look for him to send a message early in this game that's a nice pick a nice pick Clemson has a good defense, but I think as good as their defense is, they will have a hard time defending this kind of running attempt. I think they'll play well, but not well enough, sweetheart, to win this ball game. start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Here's the kick. Number 35 fields it at the two. Kickoff return 18 yards. Number 35 on the return. They'll go to work at the 20 yard line. At the 20 yard line. First and 10. Five wide. Back to pass. Going deep, lays it out there. Intercepted, it's the linebacker. And a quarterback is beside himself after throwing that one away. You know, guys, that looks like one of those times where you don't even see the defender before you throw the ball. Take over at the 38. The Tiger set up in the gun. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. It's a bad snap. Brought down. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into seizing ending ones. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Tiger come out in a shotgun. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking with the throw. And they couldn't hook up on that one. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 34. Six DBs in the lineup. He drops back. Short toss. And it's incomplete. That one was thrown in the direction of the tight end. And as a coach, you hate to see the perfect play call wasted because of poor execution. Here the quarterback just overshot this time. They're one of the loudest 
loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Number 46 signals for a fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense heads out onto the field for the first time. And with their defense forcing the punt, it allows them to have a shot at getting the first points on the board. They'll set up shot at the 20-yard line. Florida in a five-wide set. They'll throw on first down. Looking. He's looking down the middle. His receiver has it. And down he goes. Good yardage there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. First and ten. Ball on their own 37. The Gator set up in the gun. Play action. He's under some heat. Looks. Going deep on the left side. It's dropped. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. The Gators line up with three wide. They're going to pitch it. Gets a tackler. And they hit him in the backfield. And a great effort by the defensive end coming up with a big stop. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on their own 34. Clemson puts six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. Back to pass. He's under pressure. Throws this one out to the right. And that one's fallen incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throws. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 10 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 9 fields it at the 18, spins upfield. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the 25. The Gators line up with six defensive backs. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. Almost a nice catch. This is a missed opportunity here. The receiver got his hands on the ball, but couldn't quite pull it in. Second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Florida brings in the nickel here. They'll drop in for a loss. Just an excellent job of the defense here to read the draw play. He had a quarterback thought he could spread him out and find a hole for himself to run through. <laughs> they were having none of that, my friend. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Tiger come out in the shotgun. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. He's going left. And he's taken down. They picked up some yards, but it won't be enough to keep those chains moving. They went to the right guy, he just couldn't get away. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. He gets it off. Number 16, fields it at the 41. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. You know, they had something going, but were unable to get any points. They'll get the ball here at the 41. The Gators come out in a two tight end set. Back to pass. Throws this one out to the right, and it falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Second and 10. Ball on their own 41. Number four, the lone back. Here's a counterplay. Tackle. 
And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, that was great blocking, Brad, up front by the offensive line to open up that hole. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Clemson puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. They'll throw on first down with the throw. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 48. The Gators line up with three wide. Snap is high. Short toss. And he's tackled. Well, they pick up a few with a pass play, Coach. Yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, you're doing pretty good. Third and six. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. He drops back. Looks. Rolls to the right. He gets the pass away. He got the ball away, but it wasn't anywhere near a completion. Nah, he just wanted to avoid the sack. They send out the punting unit. Hangs it up high. Number 29 calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the nine. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back in the same page. They'll go to work at the nine yard line. The Gators bring in their dive package. He's looking for his man. Knocked out of bounds. First down, what a pass. Boy, that was a big time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. First and 10, ball on their own 23. The Tiger set up in the gun. Back to pass, he's got to throw it in a hurry. And he's gonna be sacked for a loss. A big time play by the defense. Well, he just really overpowered the offense there. He simply used power to slide right through and come up with a pressure to bring down the quarterback. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on their own 20. Florida has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Drops back to pass. He's looking. He rolls out to the right. Aaron and out long. Nelson Dillon at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Clemson. They hooked up for the long touchdown there, guys. What a great call. The quarterback knew he had the matchup that he wanted, and he took advantage of it. Now about that receiver? He made a great catch. Looks like someone went a little too far with the celebration. Personal foul. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the offense. 15 yard penalty will be enforced on the try. And he hits the PAT. So down to just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score. Clemson, seven. Florida, nothing. like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it. 
Number 35 fields it at the two. So the offense takes over. And they'll try to figure out this defense as they forced him to punt the last time they had the ball. They'll take over at the 22. Florida comes out with two tight ends. They hand it off. Tackle. Just a yard there. One yard gain on the play. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, our score, Clemson, seven, Florida, nothing. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 23. Number four is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He'll get the call again. Makes a move. Drop down. The halfback rips off a nice gain there to get him the first. Yeah, this guy's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. Ball on the 39. Clemson brings in their nickel package. He drops back. Looking. Throws this one out to the left. It falls incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. Yeah, this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 39. Number 12 with three wide receivers. They go with a toss. Missed tackle. And they make the stop. He picks up a yard on the play. One yard gain on the play. Third and nine. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Tigers line up with six defensive backs. Back to pass. Looks. Wants to throw outside. They'll bring him down. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. It's first and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Ball on the 39-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. And he drops it. That looked like a pretty good pass. Yeah, it was. And it was a catchable ball. Thrown right at him. He just didn't catch it. So it's second and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Number four is the single setback. Across the middle. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Third and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Clemson has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. He drops back, wants the middle, and it's caught, and down he goes. It'll be short of the first after the completion. A good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Clemson puts six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. Down the middle, got it to his receiver. And he's tackled. First down, can you believe it? Brad, I can't. That was an incredible pass and catch. I'm still catching my breath. <laughs> it's first and 10, and this is the 10th play of the drive. Let's see if their play calling changes now that they're in the red zone for the first time. 
They'll throw on first down. He unloads it. Complete. They'll bring him down. A couple of yards there. Gain of two on the play. Eleven yards out. Ball on the eleven yard line. Florida lines up with three receivers. Back to pass. Across the middle. It's deflected. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. On the 11, going in. Clemson puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. Incomplete. This one should be makeable. He gets it up. And it splits the uprights. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. like they're ready for the kickoff. Number 16, Sends it sailing downfield. Number 16 fields it in the end zone. Oh, what a move. He spins around. The offense with a lot of success through the air on that last drive as they moved it down the field for the touchdown. They'll start this drive at the 28-yard line. The defense lines up with six DBs. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He's got an opening. And they make the stop. And he pulls off a great run. Let me tell you something. This kid is a good running back. And I haven't seen moves like that since my high school prom, sweetheart. <laughs> Easy, coach. You don't want to scare off any of our viewers. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Gators bring in the nickel package. They'll throw on first down. With the throw. Brought down. He caught it, but the reward was minimal. I don't know, Brett. I don't know what the quarterback saw. But, hey, at least it wasn't a sack or an interception. Clemson calls a timeout. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. Number six, lines up in the shotgun. They'll work the right side, and they hit him in the backfield. Yeah, great upfield rush here by the defensive end. He comes around and manages to get his hands on the ball carrier. That's a terrific play. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 49. Florida lines up in a dime defense here. And they couldn't hook up on that one. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Well, it's a tough call here, but it looks like they're going to play it safe and punt it away. No, he won't. And now he's going to throw it. They stop him on fourth down. You talk about huge plays. This defense stood tall and shut him down. They'll set up shot at the 49-yard line. Florida comes out with an eye formation. Setting up the play action. 
Wants to throw outside. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. So it's second and 10. Ball in the 49. Clemson has all their DBs in for this five wide set. Drops back to pass. Steps up, looking. He's looking down the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. He overshot his receiver by a mile. Whoa, Nelly. Pull back on those reins a bit. Well, we knew this guy had a strong arm, but that was ridiculous. Yeah, it was. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. From the gun. Back to pass. Looks. Throws to the middle. And got it complete. And he's tackled. They convert on third and long, guys. Well, the offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and 10. Nice play. First and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. Florida sets up in the eye. Wants the middle. The ball is tipped. There's an athletic play by the linebacker. Listen up, my friends. Nowadays, linebackers need to be able to do more than just stop the run. They got to be able to fly all around the field and play the pass, too. So it's second and 10. This is the fifth play of this drive from the gun. It's a bad snap. And down he goes. Florida takes a timeout. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. They line up in the shotgun. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And they make the stop. They do manage a few yards, but they'll still be faced with a fourth down. I'm not sure about that play call, Brad. The kick is up, and it is good. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Number nine, back into the Kicks it off. Number nine, fields it in the end zone. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 15. The Tigers line up in a goal line formation. On the ground with the tailback. He's hit and got away. Brought down. When you break one like that, you got to give credit to the offensive line. First and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Folks, let's pause now as we reach the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Clemson 7, Florida 6.
Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. And they'll be returning this one. Number 16 fields it at the two. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. It's first and ten, ball on the 20-yard line. High formation here. Little handoff. Tackle. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 21. Number six, back in the gun, steps up in the pocket, and it's caught, and down he goes. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. First and ten, ball on their own 30. Clemson comes out with an eye formation. He gets another carry. And he's taken down. And they pick up two yards. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 32-yard line. They'll bring in their dime package. He drops back. He steps up. He's looking. Throws this one out to the right. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Third and eight, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Tiger line up with five receivers. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. And it falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. And they're ready to punt this one away. He punts it. Number 16, back to return. Loses the football. It's picked up by the defense. Take over at the 35. The Florida Gators will start the drive at the 35. Six DBs in the lineup. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Someone got a hand on it. And the safety got a hand on it that time. The intended receiver on the play. Second it's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Number 12 lines up in the shotgun. Looking. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They got heavy pressure on him that time. Boy, you better believe it. The penetration got there and boom, he went down. Yeah, that pocket just collapsed right on top of the quarterback. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 31. Clemson brings in the nickel here. He drops back. Steps up. Wants to throw outside. And he's tackled. Oh, my. That long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. First and ten, ball on the 48-yard line. The 
Gator set up in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Looks. He's in trouble. He's going left. Caught out of bounds and incomplete. Great effort here by the wideout, but you know what? The quarterback was off just enough to cause that incompletion. Second and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Florida sets up with four receivers. On the ground, the tailback. Tackle. Maybe a yard on that draw play. One yard gain on the play. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The Tigers line up in a nickelback. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Almost intercepted. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. They come out in a punt formation. Number 10 boots it way up there. Number 24 signals for a fair catch. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 11-yard line. Florida has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Back to pass. Across the middle. Great concentration. This quarterback definitely has some confidence in his arm, Kirk. It sure looks that way. That was well covered by the defense, and he still got it in there. Second and two coming up here. Ball on their own 19. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. He drops back. He'll dump this one off. Complete. And they make the stop. That'll be a two-yard gain. Gain of two on the play. It's third and inches. Ball on their own 21. Three wide outs here. On the ground with the tailback. He jukes, and he's tackled. And the tailback picks up great yardage on the run. How many times did we see him run that play in practice this week? A thousand times, and it was just as successful then as it is right now. It's first and ten. Ball on the 30. Number six is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's going left. The ball is tipped. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. So it's second and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Florida brings in their nickel package. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Brought down. A yard, maybe two on the carry. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. Incomplete. The tailback, the intended target. I hear the quarterback put just a little bit too much on the ball and overthrew him. team will come out. It's fourth down. Number 89 gets it off. Number 16 fields it to the 37. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech 
before he sent him out there. And let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. Number 12 lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. He's looking with the throw. Couldn't haul it in. Number five, the intended receiver on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 40. Number four lines up as a single back. On the ground with a tailback. Spinning. Yuku. And he's taken down. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Clemson, seven, Florida, six. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Florida comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They'll drop him for a loss. Defensive Lima was in the backfield on that one. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball right around midfield. Florida comes out with three receivers bunch. Back to pass. He tosses it short, and it's caught. Tackle. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Now it's third and six coming up. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. He's going right. It's dropped. A hard throw, and it was dropped. He possibly could have taken something off that one, but hey, when you throw that way, your receiver still can make the catch. You're one step away from the big leagues, right, Coach? Kirk, you're absolutely right. The great ones will catch anything. They're going to try to convert this one. Down the middle. It's tipped. They went for it, but they were denied. Well, that was a situation where they had to go for it. I agree. They can't afford to let the other team hold on to the ball. The time is ticking away. They'll set up shot at the 43-yard line. Number six with three wide receivers. This sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. And down he goes. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. It's second down and four to go. Ball right around midfield. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. Here's the give. And he's taken down. A good carry for the first down. You guys know I like running players with the lead blocker. But if they can run consistently like they are right now, it doesn't matter how they're blocking it. As long as they block, they're going to make yards. As long as it's within the rules of the game, right, Lee? First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. They'll throw on first down. Incomplete pass. Couldn't complete that one to his halfback. He just needed a little less air under it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 45. One man backfield. He drops back. Looking under heavy pressure. He's rolling right. He steps up over the middle. And he drops it. Dropped by the wideout. Third and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. 
Number six lines up in the shotgun. He's going left. Number 35 with the interception. And this could be a big return down the sideline. To the 20, to the 10. And it's a whole new ball game. That could be it, folks. That pick could be the straw that broke the camel's back. Forget the camels or whatever the heck you just said. I want to know what that quarterback was thinking. Come on, scramble, get sacked, throw it away. Anything, anything, anything but an interception. Going for two seems to be the right decision, and that's what they're going to do. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Get ball. Let's start on the offense. Movement on the line there. And that is just lack of discipline and focus. You can't be moving early if the ball hasn't been snapped. Drops back to pass. Steps up, looks, throws to the middle. What a close ball for this defense. You're absolutely right. You're not going to see him drop the ball like that too often. What a break for the defense. Number 38 looks ready to kick this one off. Number nine, back deep to return. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Number nine fields it in the end zone. So if you're the offense here, what's your mindset right now? Well, I think they're anxious to get back out of the field. Last time out, they drove right down the field, so they know they can move. But they cannot turn it over again in the same situation. That, my friends, would be a heartbreaker. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. High snap. And he's going to lose yards on this one. And they snuffed out the quarterback draw there. And there was absolutely no place for that quarterback to run on that play. Good job by this defense. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. And this crowd is going crazy. And he dropped it. The wideout unable to catch that pass. Number two, the intended receiver on the ball. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on their own 13. Clemson sets up with four receivers. Steps up in the pocket. Wants to throw outside. It's tipped. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. He gets it away. Number 16, fields at the 42. The offense saw their last drive end on fourth down. Will we see a similar result this time? Excellent field position to start the drive. From the gun. Play action. Throws this one out to the left. The 10. And he's all the way down to the four-yard line. But hold on. We got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding. On the offense. 10 yard penalty. Still right penalty down. drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. It's first and a mile. Ball on the 41-yard line. Yeah. 
Nickel defense. Back to pass. He steps up. Down the middle. It's tipped. Picks it off. That last INT gives this defense two on the day. Not a good throw there. The quarterback needs to make better decisions. They'll go to work at the 39-yard line. From the gun. Drop back to pass. Steps up. He lofts this one over the middle. The ball is tipped to the 20. And he's tackled. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big-time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender. And he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. Here are today's Red Zone Players of the Game, which is brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. They find themselves in the Red Zone for the first time today. Across the middle, and it falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. About 12 yards out. The Tiger come out showing three wide. They go with the run. And they make the stop. Four yards on that play. Gain of four on the play. The crowd really making it difficult. He drops back. Across the middle. That one's just too hot to handle. Yeah, the quarterback might want to think about taking a little bit off his passes in those situations. Steps up in the pocket. Pressure gunner. Somehow gets the ball away. And that one's fallen incomplete. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. They'll start this drive at the eight-yard line. Florida lines up in a goal line set. And down he goes. Clemson calls a timeout. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own eight. The Gator set up in the gun. Again, he'll get the call. Got some open field. Tackle. Clemson takes a timeout. It's first and 10, ball on the 19-yard line. Florida is about ready to celebrate a big victory here. And he takes a knee. Clemson calls a timeout. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 17. Florida will kneel on it here as they count the seconds down. It's third down and 14 to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. 
The Gator come out in the shotgun. They'll go with a run once again. They'll bring him down. And that's pretty much going to do it. Kirk, what do you think of this one? I'm sad to see this one in because it's a great game to watch. Clemson had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. Folks, thanks for tuning in to this game. Our final score, Florida 12, Clemson 7. For Lee Corso, Kirk Street, and everyone at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye and see you next time.